Although Gossip Girl first aired in 2007, people are still curious about the behind the scenes drama and secrets that have been revealed over time. In season four, if you can remember, Tim Gunn was featured in the show and he got to portray himself while interviewing Jenny for a job. The interview scene seems to have gone well since they acted it out, but things went down badly behind the scenes. After his feature with Taylor in that scene, Tim later revealed that the actress was tough to work with, and he didn't spare any words or details about how annoying Taylor was while filming the part. He said, what a diva, she was pathetic. She couldn't remember her lines and she didn't even have that many. I thought to myself, why are we all being held hostage by this brat? This episode and a series of other controversial events that continued with Taylor being on the show made them rule her out by reducing her appearance in the show. The official excuse for reducing Taylor's screen time was said to be because of some creative reasons. However, while reflecting on what happened on the set of Gossip Girl, Taylor revealed another reason why she stopped being a series regular. She said she's always been a musician and learned that she could make her music full time. Then, she asked permission to be let out of her acting deal. Taylor was later allowed to leave by writing her character off from many episodes so she could follow her dreams. So her screen time was reduced until she made a short appearance in the finale. Interestingly, many other fun things happened behind the scenes of Gossip Girl. While it's not unexpected to have young people work together without dating each other, more romantic relationships happened among the cast than the ones you knew about. Most of the relationships were secret because the cast wasn't sure if they would be allowed to go out with each other, but it became apparent later that the show utilized the rumors to favor the series, since it's all about gossip anyway. Almost all the main cast were busy falling in love with one another, starting with Layton and Sebastian Stan, who portrayed Carter Bazin. They dated from 2008 to 2010 before breaking up. Some people knew about their relationship at the time because they fancied public displays of affection and barely kept their hands off each other outside. Another dating secret on the set of Gossip Girl is that Ed Westwick, who played Chuck, and Jessica Zor, who portrayed Vanessa, were also in a love affair between 2008 and 2010, but then this relationship ended after some shocking rumors went around and even got to Ed about Jessica. It was revealed that Jessica was dating Ed's close friend behind his back and that the close friend was the one who who exposed Jessica to Ed. Aside from the friend, she was also said to be seeing other men. To Jessica's surprise, Ed ended the relationship immediately after the rumors got to him. However, Jessica denied everything and tried to make the relationship work, but failed. Blake and Penn Badgley, who played Dan, also took their romance from the show to reality. So at that point, it was like the whole cast was in a relationship with themselves, except Taylor and Chase Crawford, who played Nate. However, there's a secret that the younger cast weren't the only ones having romantic relationships behind the scenes. Even Matthew Settle, who portrayed Rufus, and Kelly Rutherford, who played Lily, took their attraction for each other beyond the show. And there were facts to support the rumor that the two dated in real life. With all these back and forth relationships behind the scenes of Gossip Girl, Blake revealed that they started worrying about it. She said, I remember there was one point where we were just afraid of how our personal lives overlapping our work life could be perceived by our bosses. But the big shocker is the bosses didn't care because that's exactly what they wanted for the show and cast. In season one of Gossip Girl, Jenny surprised many viewers by switching from that innocent girl to a rather dark one. And most of these changes have a lot to do with what happened behind the scenes. The show initially planned to have Jenny lose her innocence gradually as she goes deeper into the circle of friendship she had, but the real life situation of Taylor, who played the role, sped up things. Although Taylor started with Gossip Girl at 13 and was by far far the youngest on set. She also had music going on for her by the side. Her style as an artist changed pretty quickly as she colored her hair and transformed her looks, which had to be included in her character's story arc. Taylor said she started to change after paparazzi followed her everywhere and painted her as something that she wasn't in the news. So when the show started writing her actual appearance into the story, she felt okay with it. The way Taylor transformed and affected her character was a very shocking discovery discovery, even for the casting director who selected her for the role. Casting director David Rapport said, We were looking for a girl who was on the brink of becoming a woman. I don't think we saw that goth side yet. Also, she wasn't cast in person and only sent in an audition tape, so nothing much about her was revealed except
accept that she was fit for the role. And when Taylor started working, things went well at first until everything turned and her personality kind of affected the script. One thing fans should get straight about the Gossip Girl cast is they were mostly just colleagues and not best of friends. And this has more to do with Leighton and Blake's relationship behind the scenes. So their real life relationship while filming was almost the same as their character's portrayal on set. And they had many issues that kept drawing them apart behind the scenes. The rumors of their hatred for each other started when New York Magazine reported that Leighton and Blake always avoid having to interact with each other on set. Some details about their encounters include Leighton not liking Blake because she thinks that she's self-centered. Also, there were always many reasons for these two to fight on set. They were reportedly fighting about who gets the most screen time because the show was a hit and none wanted the other to take all the shine. As if fighting over screen time wasn't enough, Leighton and Blake also had beef over costumes, which is insane. A source close to the set said, Leighton's wardrobe budget was increased and she started getting some amazing clothes that the other two girls were jealous of. By that, they meant Taylor also managed to get into the middle of the fight. However, Blake was said to be more pissed because she had the most success outside of Gossip Girl at the time, and she felt betrayed that Leighton's costume budget was increased while hers wasn't on the same level. So, with their constant beef, a statement was released, which puts even more light on their relationship. The statement reads, Blake and Leighton have never been best friends and never professed to be. And that explains it even more because it means they never fancied each other from the start and yet remained so throughout the making of Gossip Girl. They only worked with each other professionally and that was all. Surprisingly, Leighton and Blake Lively weren't the only ones on set who couldn't stand each other at times. Taylor also got in the mix, and one thing you didn't know is that Leighton and Taylor also didn't see eye to eye due to a highly complex reason. The thing about these two was that the show's management may have initiated their fight, and what makes their rivalry worse is that the problem goes beyond their acting jobs on the show. While acting on Gossip Girl, Leighton and Taylor were both making music on the side, and while Leighton sings solo, Taylor's in a band, The Pretty Reckless. Then an issue began behind the scenes of season three, which made these two clash, and the problem was that Gossip Girl featured two of Leighton songs and didn't pay any attention to Taylor's music. This made Taylor angry and caused bad blood between herself and Leighton, even though they weren't exactly close from the beginning. The situation got worse after the show released a statement to clarify why they chose Leighton's music over Taylor's. The statement reads, the show will support Taylor and her music when the time is right, but her music isn't ready yet. And obviously, this hurt Taylor. The set of Gossip Girl became really unbearable after that, and there was a lot of tension. Another secret about the Gossip Girl behind the scenes that you probably don't know is that the show suffered significant spoilers as many things were revealed and sold online. The problem started when the show discovered that every script for each season was somehow ending up online, and they were shocked at how this was happening. So according to a producer on the show, they had to hire a private investigator to figure this out. Soon after, they discovered that a teenage hacker from Russia or Bulgaria had attacked them. So this hacker got into the email of one of the show's writers and started to sell the script on eBay, which was ridiculous and damaging at the same time. However, they couldn't do much, and that's because they couldn't prosecute the teenage hacker, but they stopped it from happening again. This issue set them back a while, which made them tighten the script's security while working on set. What do you think of these behind-the-scenes secrets? Share your thoughts in the comments. 